How to easily grow wheat grass at home. Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing how to grow wheat grass at home. I'm showing the two methods how to grow wheat grass with soil and without soil. Wheat grass is the young grass of the wheat plant and this edible grass can be juiced. This superfood contains over 100 different elements needed by man. One of the most important nutrient in wheat grass is chlorophyll. It's a natural liver cleanser detoxifier. The antioxidants in wheat grass helps to reduce free radical damage. It helps to give you an energy boost. Wheat grass is loaded with amino acids, enzymes, many vitamins and minerals needed for disease-free living. Wheat grass powder is expensive and you may not be sure of its quality. So I'm teaching you how to make wheat grass at home. It's cheaper and easy plus you get fresh organic wheat grass each time. Wheat grass helps to nourish your thyroid gland and growing your own wheat grass and drinking the juice will be like adding an excellent source of iodine to your diet. This will have a tonic effect on the thyroid gland and can be a tremendous aid in losing weight. Wheat grass is a superfood that also helps to cleanse the blood and other tissues and it is gluten free. It has wound healing properties, it is very effective in treating anemia. It may help with infertility issues, prevents cancer, controls diabetes, improves immunity, aids in digestion and also helps in weight loss. So let's see how to make wheat grass at home. I'm showing both the methods that is with soil and without soil simultaneously. To make wheat grass you need some whole wheat grains which you can get it very easily at any Indian grocery store. I have filled two bowls with water and I am adding in two tablespoon whole wheat grain in each bowl. Mix well and allow it to soak for 12 hours. After 12 hours discard the water, wash and rinse the wheat grain thoroughly. Once the grain is cleaned, add in water and again soak it for another 12 hours. To make wheat grass without soil, I am using two square pieces of an old sack which we call in Malayalam as chak. What I have done is I just cut out two square pieces from an old sack and rinsed it thoroughly and squeezed out the water. Now place the wet sack on a steel plate. Sprinkle the soaked seeds on top and make sure you spread it out evenly on one layer. Once the grains are spread out, cover it with the other wet square piece of the sack. You need to cover it to prevent the harsh sunlight from falling on it while it is sprouting. So do not omit this covering process. Plus the holes in between will help in air circulation. Sprinkle some more water on top to make sure that it stays moist. You need to sprinkle water depending upon the climate of the place you are living in to make sure it remains moist. Now keep this aside. For the soil method, I have filled a small box container with some sand which is mixed with some cow dung and water. With an old screwdriver, I am just fluffing out the soil and sprinkling water in between. Sprinkle the rinsed and soaked wheat grain on the soil evenly. Once the grains are sprinkled, cover it with the wet piece of sack so that harsh sunlight does not fall on it while it is sprouting. Keep this for 2 days but make sure you sprinkle water to keep it moist. So on the second day morning you can see the grains has sprouted on the container with the soil. I am sprinkling water on top to keep it moist. Now let's check the one without the soil. You can see green shoots coming through the sack cloth and this one also sprouted beautifully. Again I am sprinkling some water to keep it moist. Okay, this is the fourth day evening. The green shoots are grown and I am slowly taking off the sack piece which is covering the shoots. The shoots has come out very well on both the methods. Remove the covering carefully and from now onwards we are not keeping it covered. I am keeping the sack piece which was used to cover beneath the soilless wheat grass so that it gives more support to the base as the wheat grass starts growing. I am also sprinkling water to make sure it stays moist. Make sure you water it at least in the morning and in the evening. And two days later the grass has grown even taller and greener. I sprinkled water two to three times a day.
and another day later that is on the seventh day the grass has grown even more taller and on the tenth day the grass has grown even taller and i will be harvesting this in about two days time this is how it looks underneath the weed grass which has no soil okay the grass is now ready to harvest and i'm using a scissor to cut it out cut it as close to the soil as much as possible growing weed grass at home is easy and not much effort is needed plus it's organic and cheaper so do try this at home and get the full benefits of this super food i will be sharing more weed grass recipes so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you for watching and until next time take care bye